It's important to remember this election to flip your ballot over and find the three propositions. One of those would allow judges to decide if state officials convicted of serious crimes can still receive pensions. News 4's Ellie Ingersoll is breaking the ballot down. On the back of the ballot, there are three different proposals people are voting on. The second one is looking at pensions for state officials, and political scientists say that they're curious to see how this one turns out particularly. Proposition number two is on the ballot as a result of a, a, a powerful groundswell of anger on the part of the public. This proposition to allow judges to revoke or reduce pensions is appearing on ballots today after a push from thousands of people around the state. It's part of a larger issue in the state and that issue is uh, corruption. Over the last 15 years around 30 New York state officials have been convicted of serious crimes and despite being behind bars they're still receiving significant pensions. For example ex-Senate Majority Leader Dean Skelos is receiving around $96,000 a year while he's serving a five-year sentence for corruption. And as former Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver is in federal prison for 12 years after being convicted of several crimes, including fraud and extortion, he's pocketing more than $79,000 annually. Uh, they pay for play culture in Albany has become a, a, a watchword for everyone. The number of people who are convicted, the uh, amount of money it requires to get in the game, the insularity and lack of accountability on the part of the legislature, all of these have conspired in a way to create a distrust in the government. As political scientist Peter Galley explains, passing this proposition doesn't mean these former officials who are now convicted felons will stop receiving these pensions right away. But rather, a judge will be able to look at the crime they've committed and decide to either reduce or revoke the money that they're receiving. We don't know yet the impact of this. It depends on how the judges operate in applying this law and the law that is passed will implement this provision. Whether it will be sufficient is, in my opinion, doubtful. Stick with News 4 as we continue following this throughout election night here. Reporting from Elmwood Village, Ellie Ingersoll, News 4.